Hi, Reddy. Okay, hello, Riley. Internet. We are now recording for episode 117 of Enter the Dungeon. Uh, Riley, do you want to give the recap of what happened last time? Uh, yeah, so... I met a uh, golden dragonborn who um, is going to allow me to be a warlock. That's that's all I really got out of that. That's all I really remember. And I know that Michael's pissed because he's upset that he's not the only warlock. Or he's upset that he's... I'm no, a warlock. I'm not upset that I'm the only warlock. I'm upset that too many people are becoming warlocks. Why are <laughs> am, am I or am I not the only non-warlock now? You yes, are now, you're not the only, only non-warlock. Non Technically, he's not a warlock yet. No. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I am not, nor will I no, ever no, no, no. be. I mean, Jordan. Oh, okay. Gordon? Wait, it's lined up. I'm not a yes. Gordon. Hey, I'm not. I'm not a I'm not Gordon a, Glay. Yes, Gordon. Gordon. Um. Anyway. Yeah, and then we happened? fought. We fought some lava monsters, and then a. Uh, oh. And. What, what did oh. we fight? What, what's the name of that thing we I fought? I thought he was a demon, a fiend of some sort. No, no, no. It was a um. Um. I. I'm looking. I'm looking. Necromancer. Is that what, what is it? No, it's the look in game chat. I we see the fake truth, but I forget what they call what they're called. Oh, let me look it up real quick. You never learned their names. Nope. Why not? But we knew what, what they were. And it was very oh. surprised when I could punch it. Nope. Oh damn. But didn't we know like what it was? Oh, uh, anyways, we fought it, we kicked its ass, and then um I'm on I'm 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 not doing too hot. Um, oh, my mom threw in my character sheet last week, so I went back to level seven. So mm -hmm. I am almost fully level nine and level eight again. Um, that's why you should use uh, Google Docs or spreadsheet or whatever, or roll twenty, or Dungeon Master's Vault. D and D Beyond. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of ways to uh, put your stuff on the internet so it doesn't get deleted. Riley, dang, that's crazy. At least I played. I became a call out for my friends every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, you shouldn't be hindering the uh, the party by lowering yourself a level. Maybe I shouldn't be hindering the party by not showing up. Oh shoot! Now I got called out. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Truck Man. For those of you at home, he's wearing a shirt that just has the Chevrolet logo and the word trucks. I love it's it the so whole much. Shirt. I want it. I want that shirt so bad. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Anyone want to add? Hmm. Yeah, you're all stinky, and I don't like you particularly. Oh, okay. Um, I guess since we're just saying stuff now, uh, do not join the Marine Corps. It's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and you get this video deleted. Join, join the, the Space Force, wherever. Uh, the other dude. No, join the Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Or don't join the Marine Corps. What is this? Don't be a lawyer from Crazy Ex Girlfriend. I, I've never. I don't know what the Air Force is I like, but I, I would say maybe join them or something. Yeah, join the Air Force. Yeah, Air Force is for smart people. I mean, I said the Space Force because I feel like they're Space part of the Force. Air Force, you know. And they're no, they're not, not part of the Air Force. Much. Their own thing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Chris. I mean, they're similar, but not exactly. They aren't. are. Up, oh, they Chris. They are a part of the Air Force. Yeah, they're a part they of are, the Air Force. They are a department of the Air Force. What a world! In reality, there's only three, like actual like parts of them. U.S. military, Land, there's the Air Force, air. the Army, and the Navy. And then Everything air. else is just part of one of those three. Oh yeah, I guess. Uh... If you'd like me to explain further. There's only three yes, other ones that other 
branches that you can find, which is the Space Force, the Coast Guard, and the Marine Corps. Coast Guard and Marine Corps are under the Navy. Space Force is under the Air Force. There you go. Explained. Thank you. Welcome. Actually, can you do it one more time? I oh, yeah, 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 I got you. <laughs> so... Oh, hold yeah, on. We, have, we haven't wasted enough time on this bit yet. Go again. <laughs> oh. So what I was trying to say was uh, no. there's five other branches to join. No. The Marine Corps. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I know this one. I know this one. There's five armies. There's the goblins, the wolves, the no. dwarves, the humans, and the elves. How <laughs> how do you want to translate this into D and D, Drew? Good enough. I mean, that was from The Hobbit, so, and technically, I'd like to say that there were six armies, because I count the eagles. You the count eagles. the eagles? They're, they're a neutral party. They're, they're definitely with, um... Okay, they were definitely on the side of the dwarves. Yes, thank you. I was gonna say Gandalf, but he's technically with the dwarves. Anyway, and that, oh. now, okay, now, is that enough of a segue to get us back to D&D? Yes, I think so. Allegedly. Okay. So, back to the monsters. I forget their names. Okay, anyway, so Earthmover and Gerald, you guys fall through a pipe immediately after the fighting has ended. And you seem to be in some kind of a, um, you're in a, some kind of cave. Nearby you, there's these uh, lava falls, and there's a platform that seems to go up 10 feet. And nearby you are your allies, and there's a green pipe in the middle. Surrounding them, you know, there's um, bits of metal scraps. Uh, let's see, I think... Um, Gordon, he's holding a warhammer that looks like it's very, that's still kind of glowing. And near Thitch, there are uh, two black wings, very large. Two black what? Wings. Wings, people. Two, <laughs> <laughs> two black what? <laughs> All right. That's what's going to get this video deleted. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. It's, um, you were saying, Chris? Could I get some healing? Do you guys have any healing? I don't remember. I, no, I have no healing, unfortunately. Oh, yes. I'm going to Zelda take that right. hand. Okay. Uh. Um. Well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You guys, you know, you're trying to get, you, know, you, you stop for a moment and try to get some rest, but the thing is, is that it's very, very hot in this um, cave due to all the lava. Not for me. Oh, yeah, it's perfect for a dragonborn. Yes, your terrarium. <laughs> He's actually excited about this. Is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that actually racist? <laughs> Wait, isn't Geralt a um, lizard folk? No. Oh. Oh. No. No, wait, that's not calling the term me, for it. Um, is it like calling me scary? a... Like a ball. No. <laughs> the actual lizard, lizard kin? No. Yeah, lizard kin. Hey, that's that's being hard thing, right, Andres? <laughs> hard R. It's so what you're saying, saying is uh, that no, all no, all people with scales look alike, huh? Dra <laughs> dragons aren't lizards. It's lizards to you. No, uh, lizards. Uh, everyone, everyone, to you. Just, everyone with scales just looks the same to you. <laughs> this is the final installment of the end. <laughs> After this, we get a strike. Yeah, you say that, but I bet y'all even, don't even know what a Viashino is. What? You got a point. Yeah, there's more Wait, skills. Isn't that a suit company? No. Yeah, and you know Louis Vuitton? What is Louis Vuitton? I don't, I don't care about fashion or clothes. What? Or handbags. Louis. Baton or Vuitton? 
Vuitton. It's like it's v- v- I think it's V-I-T-T. Wait, wait, are you guys asking They're handbags. V- That's a fashion v- company. Is, that ju- is it just handbags? I thought they also no, made they clothes. Made... No, I... Wait, are you going to turn Gerald into a handbag? handbag? No. I think that's anyway. what you want to do. Anyway. But they may, oh, so they I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good enough to get turned into a handbag, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's just losing his mind. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm fanning myself with a mirror. I hope you're happy. First off, that wastes more energy, and your wrist is going to get tired, and you're not going to get it as cold as you want to. It's okay. I just turned on the actual Get a piece fan. of paper. Anyway, if you guys would please refer back to the game. I'm sorry, Drew. Right. Terraria. My point is, it's too hot in this area for anyone aside from Gerald to take a short rest here. Quick, let's move all the stuff into the pipe. Okay. But luckily, Gerald's healing magic can probably make up for that. As well as the healing potions that um, Fitch and um, Gordon. Rather got. use land hands right now. You don't. No, no one here's Paladin. Oh. Um, what is it? Cure wounds? No. What is it? Yeah, I think what does he do again? What Gerald knows he, he has healing magics. Do oh, I? What varietal? We need healing. I raise my hand. Oh, I do. I do desperately. Uh, what are what you guys' health? I'm at 12. I'm at 12. 12 out what? 53. Oh, shoot. Um, forgot to do a short rest uh, two episodes ago. I never actually took that. Uh, actually, I'm not even going to roll for health. Yeah, man. Okay, who's up first? Me, the child. Take it. I am. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm looking pretty rough, too. I only have 47 hit points right now, if we could <laughs> get right on that's that. That's my max. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that's your max? You have the same hit die size as me. What's your con, what's your con score? 10. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to do okay. a second level cure wounds on the child. Sweet. I believe I also have cure wounds. Can I do that on myself? Yes, you can if you have it. I will do that. Alright. Second level. Let's get it. I don't have cure wounds. Never mind. That's a three. You piece of shit. That's a five. Plus Thank four, you. eight, or twelve. Got twelve hit points. I got twelve. Thank you. Yeah. I'll rock with that. Chris, where are you at? Twenty-five out of forty-seven. Uh, you get one. So level level one cure wounds. Five, one, two, five. Well, you just got five hit points back. That's fine. I'm back at thirty. I'm at thirty-three. So if I'm in super, if I'm in a super pinch. I can use one of my lesser healing. I plan on being beat. Like, holy cow. Uh, I really, I couldn't beat those iron stuff to death. I don't even know how they died. Magic, mostly. I gave it a punch. Okay, then. Are you guys dropping all the bodies and statues through? Um, 
I say just one statue and one body will do. Oh. Okay. Well, as we all know, um, Gordon is the uh, leader of the party, so. Well, he's the one who wanted to put them down the pipe anyways. Damn straight. Well, actually, technically it's Gerald, I, I think, is the official leader. No. Yes, he is. Are you no. trying to divide us, Drew? Look, all I'm saying is that who is the official leader on paper, according to the sigil we own? Me, Whoever paid for it. No, I think... Gerald mm. definitely paid for it. And Gerald is also a major, like, shareholder right now. Oh, right. He's your shareholder? <laughs> yes, he has a lot of money in there. Right, because of that. Does he that mean I'm... That Hold on, Do... am I the biggest shareholder in uh, Middletown? Probably. I think I, I am, yeah. But you, you're, it's, you're not making as much money as me, you don't... No, it's going to try to make yourself feel better, girl. Just to, uh, it's a period. At least I own a town, almost a town. <sighs> Guys, I, could... I don't know how clear about this I need to be, but you do not own Middletown. You can't just do whatever you want there. You have tremendous yeah. influence, but the rule of law still applies. <laughs> they aren't Are you your serfs. Sure I mean, we can make that happen. Anyways, yes. Anyways, yes, let's go. Oh, and wait, did anyone take any metal scrap? I think so. Uh, I thought we already took them, though. Okay. In that case, Chris, go ahead and roll me 3d6. I don't even have that many D D6s. Then roll the dice you have one and a half times. <laughs> I put them all inside a bag. So, hold on. I roll the five, a one, yeah. and a three. Okay, in that case, you have nine pounds of this metal, whatever it is. Nine pounds of this metal. Yes. Nine pounds of whatever metal that is yes you, nothing specific not steel not iron okay do you want to investigate it not now okay then then you don't know specifically and you do have the wings yes wings black wings what else did i get anyway okay so are we good to... Uh, are you guys good to jump down the pipe then? I would say so. You guys are falling, and you land in a um, dry, stone, stony chamber. You realize to both sides of you there are walls. Each of these uh, walls has doors, and there's very uh, small um, vertical windows. And standing at the edge end of this um, hall-like area, there seem to be um, two women who are holding bows. They both appear to be elven. And I Gibbs and the left. Elden? Yeah. Gibbs and the one on the left. Just kidding, they still do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so and, what else was it? Is there anything just other than two, other than that? Oh, okay. oh no! Yeah. We'll pretend that I didn't see that. Meaning my characters will have no clue what those doors are. <laughs> oh yes, clearly the door is not meant for an ambush. Anyways, Raven, fly! Uh, this room seems to be about 10 feet tall, so the Raven can't fly very far. Raven, fly what's around the corner. Do any of you speak <laughs> Elvish? I... Uh, hold on, uh, I think I do.
I don't. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I do though. Oh, I can't. Okay. I have the ability to uh, comprehend languages. I I mean, are they like obviously elves? Like, yeah, the, the, elves? I think you guys, well, at least most of you, have probably heard Elvish enough to recognize it. Okay. Uh, then Geralt is going to cast. Uh, first level comprehend languages and their level tongues. Uh, oh wait, are, are you now. guessing tongues or comprehend languages? Because those are two different spells. Can, can I not cast both of them? Oh shoot, I can't cast both of them at the same time. Right. Well, besides, can... tongues is a third level spell, so you might not want to cast that here. Yes, and they seem to be saying... Hmm. What are you doing here? Are you new prisoners? Uh, no. Geralt is going to do the universal sign of no. <laughs> the universal sign of no. Um, um, uh, yes. Like, the yes. One middle finger up, upwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. He's got or the greeting. His head left and right on a horizontal plane. Speak. You have permission. Uh, Geralt's going to try to, uh... Oh, shoot. Gordon jumps up. Hello! Uh, Geralt goes to cover the mouth of child. Damn it. And one of them says in common, you dare bring that uncivilized language before our ears. I I wonder what they say about all their other languages. Hey, I want to start in that case. In that case, Drew, I start speaking Dwarvish. I start speaking Halfling. (laughs) Really fuck with them. Yeah, they, they look at you when uh, you do. Oh, yeah, they, they, uh, one of them actually seems interested in Thitch when you start speaking in half line. Okay, um, Geralt's just going to act like he, he he's a mute and he can't speak. <laughs> so he's going to, like, point at his, like, mouth and he says he's going to, like, he's I start, making hand I start gestures. Seeing, I start seeing their interest. Um... And after I said hello, um, what is this place about? This is where we keep the prisoners. Of? Of the challenge. So they don't die. What business have you here? Um, routine okay, maintenance. Uh, <laughs> are you challengers? Just janitors picking, as you can see, we're going to each floor to floor, cleaning up, taking out the trash. Uh, can Gerald like try to? Check. Uh, is Gerald able to do message while uh, still having comprehend languages? 18. Oh my plus. goodness! Oh wait, uh, uh, what was it? Per- uh, charisma, de- deception, deception. Yeah, so plus three. Uh, twenty-one. One of them seems intrigued by that. Janitors, you say, cleaning up debris. Hmm. Interesting. Are you a manifestation of the tower here to adjust our floor? Uh, Geralt, Geralt, uh, starts nodding. This is in Halfling, by the way. I have, I currently am casting Comprehend Languages, okay. so I can understand okay. Halfling. Well, yes, we must do the tower's bidding. Right, Drew? Well, they, they switched to Common. You should have tried speaking that to them before you casted the spell. 
they switched the common? Yes. No, I thought I thought no because I thought uh, we were speaking halfling. Yeah, they they started speaking halfling after because they showed interest. Yeah, when you were speaking it, but they didn't start speaking it back to you. It's just one of them oh. like seemed to take notice of it. Okay. So so have you been speaking halfling this whole time or no, common? Okay, okay. I guess okay. when they spoke ca- common, I started speaking common as well. Oh, okay then. So then. Uh, they would have understood about that whole entire thing except for me saying hello. <laughs> Drew, am I able to use the spell message while... Uh... Yes, that's a cantrip. Okay. Uh, Gerald's going to message to whoever the main person who's talking is. Okay. And uh, he's going to say, yes, we are just uh, engineers. Uh, sir, we... Uh, fix things that the tower wishes of us to. And and that one starts looking around a little bit, trying to figure out where that voice is coming from. Uh, and I, I raise my hand. Oh, I actually, wait, no, actually, no. Uh, I am the will of the, of the oh my tower. God. <laughs> these these beings in front of you are here to assist with your job of keeping the doing the job that I assigned to you. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> that's uh, that's crazy, right? A 23. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is working so well. <laughs> and one of them starts to nodding. Hmm. Very well, then. What adjustments must be made? Uh, <laughs> uh, you need to show them uh, around and... If they need to do something, they will do it. You simply have to guide them throughout the floor. You want to make another check? <laughs> and she says, mm, Okay, then. I think I've made a decision. We will allow you to look around the floor. I believe that you're being forthright, but you could be mistaken. Do you see the doors around you? Do we? Uh, Geralt starts nodding. That is where they are kept. Do you need Uh, to adjust them? Garrett's gonna message uh, these beings know nothing of my uh, my tower they they are simply beings I brought here because they have knowledge of how <laughs> how to help adjust uh, the, the things within but they have no knowledge of what is inside the tower you need to be their guide okay make a persuasion roll this time with advantage Come on, baby. That's a uh, 13 plus 4, 17. That's with the advantage? Yes. Oh, okay. Three. Three. Oh. No, no, no. Let me roll more than that. Yeah, it's going to be 17. Okay. With a 17, um, she nods again and says, yes, we keep oh, a number of prisoners here with us. And they aid us when we face off against the challenges. Uh, 
Uh, wait. Oh, shoot. We try it. Because I can two-way call this, right? Yes. Uh, I'm going to... Do you need to take a look at them? The doors are locked, so you'll have to find a way to open them. Is anyone else uh, good in charisma? <laughs> I have. Well, I'm Actually, this call. Okay, so how My we worked this 16 last time, Drew? Plus three. Mm -hmm. Drew, so how we worked this last time, I was able to get a 16 charisma with the plus 13. Charisma. It was 13? I thought it was 16. No. I have a 16 in charisma. Okay. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, because... Okay, and that's a plus two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, then never mind. I have a, I have a plus two. No, wait. Me. No, wait. Plus one, plus one. It's a plus one? Right? Yeah. A what? 13? 12 and 13 are plus one. Yes. So 11, 12, and 13 are all plus one? Or, oh, no, no. 11 no, is... 11, 12, 11 12, zero. 13. Okay, 11, zero. zero. Okay. So, what do you want to do now? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a way that we can... Summon the pipe? Yeah, summon the pipe without having to fight these people. That's what I was thinking. Um, you, you, so, I'm looking at the map right now, and so it's just... Is there like a corridor behind them, or...? Um, it's a T-section. What was that? It's a T-section. Oh, it's just a T- it, There's nothing behind it's just it? just a I, Actually, I, I, uh, Geralt's just gonna start walking and just to look around. Okay. Uh, as the good inspector slash engineer, whatever he is. I'm the janitor, so I'll. Let's see, can I? We're just good earth movers. We just need to move some stuff around. Well, we're, not not. Movers. we're we're stone yeah. movers. What's nice. necessary to unlock doors? I don't have any. I don't think I have any of that. No. Uh, you want to ask the. Uh... Elves, if they have a way of opening the door. No, they, they said that they're locked, right? Yeah. You know, I love how uh, against the terrifying devil, you guys just rushed into combat, but now against these, um you know, small humanoids, you're like, oh yeah, we need to oh no, it's because they're archers. All of your characters now have PTSD related to archers, isn't it? Yeah. Because we all almost died in that one stupid... Oh my gosh, don't remind me of that room. thing. With the freaking blood, like the giant wine. I had to use my giant buff for that. Yeah. Yeah, that room really boned us. Yeah. I wasn't there that Did day. Rush you? Get it? I might be there. thinking of something else. So, so is there anything behind the orchards? Nope. Seems to be a sealed off room. Oh, okay. Um, I guess, shoot, I can't add, I can't add them to the call. I can't add anyone to the call without the other person hearing. I mean, I can just stop messaging one and just message another person, right? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, so I guess I'll add, I'll just message Earthmover and Bitch, where's uh, Gordon? On here? Oh, I'm it just doesn't like matter. right by your side. You're oh, still okay. smothering me, smothering my mouth, right? Uh, no, yes. I mean, I walked away to see what's behind them, but I was I nothing. was gonna follow him, just like really quietly right behind him. <laughs> well, either way, uh, what do you guys think we should do? Gerald says to the other guys in message in message form. Which two? Uh, Earthmover and Fitch. Okay. Nice. 
I'm I'm just staring very hardly at these two like elvish creatures. <laughs> oh, and to clarify, all of these um rooms next to the doors, they have very small vertical windows. You might call them uh, slits. I look inside each of them. Okay, yeah, if you look inside one, there seems to be a uh, person in there. Is he moving? Um, standing there, seems to be breathing and holding a crossbow. And when oh. he sees you, he just starts eyeing you. I just nod, I nod to him. <laughs> As if, like, uh, that we're both in the same goal, like, you know, and bro code, not, not up. Uh, Gerald and he is going to... And like, points the crossbow at you. <laughs> I roll my eyes and just walk away. Okay. Uh, okay, so Gerald's going to go up to the one of the doors and look inside. Okay. You see a very okay. similar sight. There's uh, someone uh, dressed in black holding a crossbow, and when you make eye contact with him, he kind of uh, raises the crossbow at you. And also... And no! Also... <laughs> DM! And also, we win D... We win, we win D&D. &D. Uh, they all die simultaneously. They <laughs> and a pipe arrives the floor. They spontaneously combust. Yes, all of a sudden in this room, uh, you guys both notice um, cots and what seems to be, um... yeah, basically, yeah, a, a um, wood seat with a um, hole in the middle. A wooden seat with a hole in the middle? I'm assuming the toilet? No, it's, it's, uh, it's just a chair that they have. It's, it's for fishing. fishing. Yeah, it's fishing. It's, it's for, for fishing. wine making. Uh oh. So, uh, in the message between me, Geralt, and uh, Earthmover, I'm saying, so far I'm just seeing a bunch of uh, archers and crossbowers. Maybe we should all go get on one side of them instead of. Uh, being let me try. I'm gonna try to talk to them first. Uh, okay, so Geralt's going to try to message the being inside. Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, okay, so girl's gonna say, hello, this is the tower speaking. Uh, how, how are you doing? What's going on? Let's see, uh, this, this is the tower, the tower, you know, you're your boss. Uh, this is the, I'm the will of the tower speaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> like a PA system. I'm the will of the tower. <laughs> I am the will of the tower. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Yeah, I said, thank you for playing Delta Air. <laughs> and he starts thank speaking you. out loud in a ravenous voice. Is it showtime? Is it time to go? Time to go? Time to act? No, not quite. No, no, no. Uh, these, uh... You have awakened I've invited... us. No, no, I've, I've invited these uh, beings the floor to, to make some uh, adjustments to allow you to better kill the uh, the foolish challengers that decide to face you. Um, adjustments? Yes. Uh, so, would you kindly uh, open the door that, that you're uh, and you <laughs> to the room you're in? He, he's going to come inside and make some, uh, yes. some adjustments. Yes. And there'll be other gentlemen there as well. Make a make a persuasion check this time again with advantage. Ooh, I'm going good today. Eighteen plus four is twenty-two. Okay, this guy. Um. Yeah. Um. He he doesn't put. Yeah. He uh, puts his crossbow. Um. Uh, on his belt, and then he walks over and takes something out of a out of a pocket you didn't realize he had. And after just a moment of just uh, touching around a locking mechanism, you hear it spring back, and he opens up the door. He steps through. Question, Mister DM. 
Yes. Um, can Silent Servant, what, what is it? Silent Servant? No. Uh, Unseen what? Servant go through locks. Um, well, it could definitely fit through these um, small windows. Okay. I'm yes, going to have... So now, now this guy's just standing here. I'm going to have an Unseen Servant assist Geralt. In, in what? In what? Oh, in being mysterious? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this guy's standing in front of you. Uh, what? What is this guy again? Uh, he seems to be dressed in black. He has a crossbow. Um, you also notice on his um, belt that he has a uh, short sword. Mm, okay. Some kind of um, unwashed humanoid. Uh, girl is going to. Girl's okay. Uh, girl's gonna message Earthmover and bitch again. Or actually, I'll do Earthmover and uh. Actually, no. By the bitch, way, bitch and, bitch and, what uh, a sailor no Morse code. Has Morse code been invented in this world? Yeah. Or actually, that's true. Okay, so I'm gonna message Fitch and Gordon. Uh, so my plan right now is we should go room by room, walk in there, all of us, walk in there, bring the guy in there with us, and assassinate him room by room. And uh, I feel like we'll have less problems, and also be hopefully out of sight of the archers. So probably not to this first guy right here. Probably go to the end of the room and and continue on. What I but can, if we all attack them at once, I feel like we have a good chance. Also, of, what it can also do. How many unseen servants can I do again? It's like you can technically ma manifest up to five, but it would take a full hour. Oh okay. <laughs> um, give me one hour, okay, guys. <laughs> give me all right. One hour. Uh, we need to debug your system. Just let me um, hardline in. <laughs> Yeah, go, go ahead and take a break. This, I, I'm going to be a while. <laughs> um, let me see what I mean, how we could do that? We haven't convinced that we're uh, we're here to. I don't know. They still kind of we're on their side. Just a bit, like less so than before. But like they're, they're eyeing you, confused, and uh, the woman says, "All right, what's now?" Uh the okay. Then the I message. That oh, and say, uh, oh, do not worry about this. Uh, they just have to do a, a routine health inspection on on the uh, on the workers, you know, on all the beings. It, it, yeah, it, H HR is making us do it. It's not. It's not our. <laughs> no, it's, we didn't want to do it, you know. Okay, this time roll with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? I want to try to be funny. <laughs> All right. That's not a D20. That's a D20. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a five and a seven, so that's going to be a nine. And she says out loud, HR, health concerns? What's going on here? What do we need of health concerns? We don't even really exist. The main... <laughs> Look. You don't name me. We don't even exist. We're just a... Um... I had that line going, Spongebob. Um... <laughs> We're just a clever um, visualization made for the abstract concept of thought. So, and then I hear them say this. I'm like, well, the uncupping challengers that are two floors above us Kill the giants within two turns. Within five minutes. So we have to make this a lot harder because they're going through this and we need to stop them. So what do you what how are you gonna plan on killing them if you're not gonna if you're gonna die in the exact same way? Hey, we're going to do what we always do. Our um our <laughs> road here, they will shoot at them with their crossbows through those little holes and be able to do their special things to do extra damage because they are know where to target someone when that person is distracted. 
and then we'll do a volley of arrows. It works every time. Well, tell uh, that to the floor of the uh, of the ice islands. The ice uh, islands? We don't know about other floors. Well, take your concept and put them in an open area, except very far away, and you can't get hit. And they still all died. Huh? So we need to make this harder. Oh, and that's where the four of you come in? You're going to beat them up when they get here? Yeah. But we also have to improve, the, we have to improve this. So we have an idea. You know, what about five arrows from one room? We would have all of them within one room and shoot through the hole at the same time, therefore doing a lot more damage. Well, wouldn't they all get overcrowded and jammed together? I mean, no. you could only really fit four people in the room at a time. And they wouldn't all be able to aim like that. Look how small the aiming hole is. How about two per, hole, two per room? Because, Or maybe have all of them on one side, and then you at the ends near the corners. Okay, tell you what. We'll, we'll come in behind so you. Wise guy. Here. How about we'll come you in go behind into the, How about you just go into that room and investigate? You'll see how the that it does how small it is. I go into the back corner room. Uh the one that was just opened? No, no, the other one. Uh, well, there's one near you. Uh, actually, Geralt's gonna gonna uh, motion for. Oh, by the way, Drew, to throughout him. all of this, throughout all of this, <clears throat> my unseen servant is going to go to all the rooms and like silently pick up all the keys. Well, there aren't any keys that you can see. The doors are locked. But then how did number six get out? From what Gerald saw, he seemed to have picked the lock. He picked the lock? Yeah. The what? <laughs> Wait. A... Uh... So, uh... Gerald's going Is to message Gerald's number still six. In a message with me? No. No. Gerald's going to message number six and uh, ask him. So, do you understand what you're doing? Do you understand your job here? Yeah, it's to shoot at um, enemies when one of them says, Welcome, Challenger. Uh, so, d have you ever thought about leaving the room while the Challenger is here? Well, if the situation demands it, yes, I pick the lock and then I rush out and start stabbing them. Interesting. Do, uh, do your, all your comrades. Uh know to pick the lock whenever there's whenever yes, there's of course danger. we're all trained in lock picking and we all have um lock picking tools okay at that moment i have i'm having my unseen servant go and steal their lock picking tools but don't worry they're safely in our pockets chris also you wouldn't know that he said oh that. he just said it no, oh, wait. Actually, I, yeah. No, yeah, he said, he said to me through the message. Not out loud? Wait, oh, okay. would he say it out loud? I feel like he would uh, say This guy's been loud. responding out loud to your uh, silent messages. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, and he takes the, um out his uh, lockpicks to show you. I'm trying to think of just what to do. Um. So wait, haven't you guys thought of about having all of you guys at the end of the hall, and as soon as the challengers come down, say the phrase, and then just shoot them to start the volley, and then we'll go that's, that's... be around the corner. It's not on me to say the phrase. Oh, okay. Um, I I think I see what you're getting at here. You want to uh... 
Let's just hope they don't have any spells of like fireball or anything. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're we're gonna. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna message. Uh, I'm gonna message both. Oh, actually, no. I'm just gonna message the elf. I'm gonna say we're gonna try something new here. Uh, my my messenger my. Shoot, what are we again? Where uh, my engineers are gonna be, engineers. We're gonna move. They're gonna move some people around, try some new things. So uh, you guys, you know, be open to some uh, testing, some combat testing. Um. Oh. Responsive, act silently. Very well. Do you need the? Um, do you need the robes to step out? Uh. No, no, you can stay in the row. Actually, it'd probably be better if you just uh, moved all the way to the other side of the room. Okay, okay, so we don't need to unlock the doors, good. Not for right now. Okay. It, but it, it may arise that we might have to unlock the No, no, the other way. No, 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 uh, not not over there either. Yep, yeah, right <laughs> over there. Uh, do you guys see what I'm getting at? I, I, actually, wait, how would they have been dodging arrows if, are they just shooting outwards? Like blindly shooting outwards. Anyone have some thoughts? Um. Well, are are we in message currently? Uh. No. Actually, wait. We can talk out loud. So, well, if the they drop, I was either one have are we. Are we, them, are we Speaking in character or out of character? I think we can speak out of character, right, to formulate a plan. Or should we speak in character, Drew? Would you, what would you prefer? Well, I'm going to say you're going to have to speak in character, but it sounds like you've made another like a layer of character because you're <laughs> pretending to be on their side. <laughs> <laughs> Too many in characters. <laughs> in, in persona character, anyway. or in character or out of yes. character. Yeah, if you're going to be actually planning, that has to be in character. Okay. Okay. Um. In character and persona. So, Geralt okay, is we need going more to... lava in this room. <laughs> lava really did hurt them a lot. Flow lava through all the chambers. Trust me. <laughs> so that uh, Ger Geralt's going to motion for the group to come together. We're we're gonna move to the top right corner so no one's listening. Oh shoot! Uh, we're, we're, gonna six, get a, back to yourself. we're gonna make a little group, group puddle. Do you guys all follow? Yeah, of course. Okay. I was wondering what that frying pan was. <laughs> That's <laughs> me. Frying pan, yeah. Okay. I have to apologize because simultaneously up until right now. I was still figuring out my spells from re-leveling up, and I apologize. So I'm very lost. Okay. Well, you guys are now all grouped up together. Yes. So, what are we going to do? Uh, I'm, Geralt's whispering to make sure that no one sees it. When you talk. I was thinking of AoE. Put them all at the end of the hall and just AoE them. I was going to say we put them all at the end of the or put most of them at the end of the hall um, and have the people in the cages shoot the archers or shoot everyone that's in the middle but how do we go about that if they have logic that's what, that's what I was wondering I was wondering do you think that they uh, I don't think they blindly follow it I'm no I'm saying because they only they just wait for the word. They don't we, we haven't opened up the the other ones and told them yet. 
I was also thinking of just like putting them stack, like well, stacking them all at the end of the hall, and maybe right. putting up a wall, and then I don't know. I can drown them. That's another thing. Stacking. Um, I have a, it, I have a question for the DM. Um, if Geralt drowns, drown, uh, how do you, how would you how would you drown them? I can create water with my water staff. So if I cast witch bolt which is a like a lightning bolt can that if everybody in the same body of water as the person i attack get affected or no i mean it's not a lightning spell so okay i respect okay i got okay. nothing <laughs> I'm down for whatever. You guys tell me what to do, and I'm doing it. Okay, okay. This this, <clears throat> this is what I'm thinking. I or we get them all to, to get in between the last four archers or the last four like crossbow people. So okay. that's gonna be the 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 front six. We're gonna be standing over there with, along with the uh, elves. And then we say, do you guys remember what the word was? It's uh, welcome challengers. Mm. Hey, if you, I, I was going to say, I have disguised person. If you want, I can um, misty step to the top, like to uh, over there and like appear. I as, also like, have misty visions. I can cast a silent image at will. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I could pretend to be a challenger. And just, I could, uh, uh, I could uh, recreate. A uh, Geralt's image, and so that they feel kind of safe, and like not question it. Okay. Um. <clears throat> or or another. Do you guys have like AOE attacks? Uh. And Darth Mover does. Yeah, I was banking on him as well. I don't think I do. Wait, what's AOE again? I'm sorry. Uh, area of effect, meaning like you can hit multiple people oh, oh, oh. times instead of um, one. Cause, or we can just put them all in a little corner and then do AOE attacks. Do you not have fireball? No. Me? Yeah. I do not have fireball. Okay. I oh, for sure thought you did fireball on me one time. I have oh, my me. breath attack. Oh, the breath attack. That is that AOE? Uh, that is AoE, but I would rather use another spell that I have that's just stronger. I think. Well, let me check. At the very least, I can do some supporting damage if it's far away like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. What's going on over there? <laughs> uh, Geralt's got a message. Nothing, nothing. Leave them to their... To engineer. To their, uh, engineering. To their, engineering. To their talking. They're doing important engineering, engineering talk. Stuff. You won't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the will of the tower demands it. <laughs> um. What the heck? Okay. So, do you know what spells you're casting? Uh, it says Wiki Daw has been hacked. What the? Yeah. Heck? Yeah, it has. We can't use that website for a few days. SMH. What are you trying to look up? I was just trying to see how much or what Arms of Hadar does. So, Arms of Hadar 5E. 
Okay. Uh, so it's it, just, it just adds it, it does two D six. It so it basically does the same as a breath attack. But the breath attack has more range. I'm going to prepare. Should I prepare my uh, bow just in case? By the way, I if what I could also do, I can do a silent image of a random person. I think. Is it of myself? No. I can cast a silent image at will. So I can cast image of a random person and say that that's the challenger. Okay. And what we can say... What happens if we said welcome challenger? That's that's why that's why I was gonna Oh you're just saying it? Just I was gonna see what it would happen if we said uh, but we aren't saying I, it out I, loud. I would rather I would rather not because there's still eight other monsters that can uh Oh, can it attack us? How many can we pack into the rooms, do you think? Um, at least four. So then, four, 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 one. We could put the wizards in there, and then a breath attack would... You could drown them inside the cells, can't you? Um, I'm not actually. I don't even know how much water I can create. How much is he allowed to create? DM. Uh, what's what's the uh, name of the effect? It just says create or destroy water. One charge. Uh, I believe it's ten gallons. I'm very ten sorry. gallons. Okay, okay, that's, that's enough not enough. enough. That sounds right to me. Or I can just keep casting. Can you conjure it directly into their throats? The what? Can oh, you true. conjure it that. directly into their throats? Uh, if you can, if you're willing to consider them an open container, you can put it in their <laughs> lungs. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> into their lungs. Is that not an open container? Uh, while they're inhaling or exhaling, it certainly is, or I would define <laughs> it as such. <laughs> So directly into their lungs. Mm. Uh, okay. We need we need to come up, we need to like finalize the plan. So are we going to call them out all out and try the AOE? We're we going to try to get them to shoot each other. We can, oh, I think they're smart. We can line them up across from each other and just tell them to shoot at, uh, at illusions. Does someone else have a minor illusion? Yeah, I do. I've got, I've got my illusion. He's got his illusion. So we can create I have my uh, a circle. I, we can create, I we can, can create, create a, uh, some illusions and have them shoot at the illusions, and which would it would go through and shoot each other. We so could have them stand in front up, of the doors. Yeah. From what I just looked up and from what I was just doing research on, minor illusion can either create create a sound or an image. Does that mean I can create an image of a person as well, or everything I said it just was like object? Yeah, I don't think that you can make the full illusion of a person. Okay. Damn. Okay. So then, it, am I the only like, one? Who okay, can make okay. So I, I think I think our best option right now is to just call them all out, get them all out here, and then just hit them with AOE attacks. All right. Okay. Chris, do you have any AOE attacks? I don't, but I can. Cool. Um, I'll just and if it's too people, many but... arrows, if it's too many arrows, we can make a slight wall for ourselves. 
Also, we can just hop into one of the rooms. Yes, that is also true. And if they get close, I can definitely break them down. Okay. So. Um, get a decent plan. Bring them outside. So, bring them outside. Put them all at the end where the other two are. And tell them to all just get, get into like a group. We're going to take a group picture for the group for the picture company. for corporate for, for corporate group picture for, for corporate and then um you guys can probably get into like the rooms at the end mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll stand i'll stand about like 30 feet 30 feet in front of them and then do my breath attack and then you guys can do your little aoe stuff and I'm gonna run up and do my AOE so. Mm -hmm. Does it sound good? Okay. Good to me. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty. Plan. Uh Geralt, well now do I have to convince all of them to get out or actually I'm gonna take number six with me because I I feel like they know yeah. their coworkers, right? So I'm going to take number six with me and go to every door and have them come out. Yeah, so you're walking around just asking them to all step out? Yes. And do you use your uh, messaging? Yes, I'm going to use that to assist. But I'm, I'm going to tell number six to like say, like, hey, we're, when you'll come out, uh, there's they're having us do something about Tower's Rules. Tower, yes. tower, the tower. So you know, that, you're speaking very persuasively, and it definitely helps that they they have a buddy that, uh, speaking up for them. These guys, they all begin to move out, and they seem to pick the locks with um, remarkable efficiency. Oh wow! Ooh, this is very interesting. Oh, <laughs> there was even oh, look at that. Only six of them. I should have guessed that from the number six being at the end there, but you know. Oh, true. <laughs> Dang. Drew, you're pretty good at this. Thanks. Okay. Yep, they've all um, opened up their doors and are moving out. I also, I also uh, let them know that if you see the challenger, we'll be over here to ambush them. Okay. And of course, Gerald is in the middle. Safe and sound. Yes. Girl <laughs> messages each individually and mm -hmm. tells them all to go to the end of the hallway. What is the meaning of this? One asks. <laughs> Making the challenge harder. If we all shoot from one direction, they can't dodge it. And they exactly. have to fall into this hallway. Make a persuasion check with advantage. One more. Nine and then oh, wait, come no, on. advantage. <laughs> yep. What 22? Nice, okay, eight, they're all eight. going for it. What's with all the dead bodies? Cleaning. Oh, yeah, uh, uh in the well, oh, shoot, I can't say anything. Uh, somebody say, uh, I say, bitch. I say, this, this is. This is the damage that the challengers have been doing. We are cleaning up the floors for the next <laughs> floors to be repopulated. Don't be like these guys. These are they, they did horribly. Uh, 
So uh, everybody here was convinced that a child was a part of a cleanup crew. Maybe they they just assume that you're also a manifestation of the tower. All right. You guys gonna go down there? Um, I'm gonna stand by. Should I stand by you or go down there? Uh, I I mean you can stand by me. It doesn't really. I'll stand next to I'll stand next to Gordon, and you're taking a picture, right, or something. So I'm gonna pretend to be like, oh yeah, it looks good, whatever. Uh, no, I I mean, I I think that was a joke. I mean, oh, okay. I don't think they really think that I was taking a picture with a future phone or with a future camera you know. <laughs> on an iphone iphone 13 earth mover uh and bitch are you guys gonna move down there uh not all the way actually slightly i'll go to i was gonna say you guys can probably go in the rooms yeah i'm gonna go say, into I'll the stand, room i'll stand right in in front of an opening I was saying the the room's close to them, Chris. Yeah, like uh, the middle yeah. room. Hey, so if you see that X? The super you see close. the X by five? The red X by five, Drew? Put me right in the entrance of that room right there, yeah. I'll go the opposite side of where uh, the kid went to. Yeah. Child fighter. And what's Earth Mover doing? Uh, I'm going to go stand with Gerald. Gerald. Okay. Um, already. Just making sure. These tiles are five feet, correct? Yes, five feet on the side. Okay, then can I be... Uh, can you move me two forward? That way... Um, hopefully they're safe from, from this, but, all right, uh, Geralt's going to, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Geralt's gonna say, all right, guys, now turn around in, uh, in common, just speaking out loud. I mean, um, immediately after that, he's gonna do a do a his breath attack. Uh, welcome, challenger. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he'll he'll say that. He'll say that. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. They're, they're not gonna quite turn around for you. You don't quite have that authority over them, but they are all in range. I think, right? Yes, they, they are all in range. By the way, and Tell should I'm, I'm I'm gonna want, try this. I'm. Huh? Tell you what. Um, so you guys are basically in a surprise round, but go ahead and roll initiative now, just so that we know it. Okay. I almost rolled my d30. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. I was about to go to Google. Okay. Uh, black or white? We are an eight. Thirteen plus four, seven. Plus four. Plus four. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, what did Gordon get? Um, fifteen. It's plus. It's just plus your deck, right? Yes. Okay, sorry. I thought it was proficiency and, and deck. E for a second. No, still adding. Did you, did you hear what Paris, I said? I didn't hear what? Oh, oh 18. Oh, okay. okay. Mom got an 18. I got it. Got it. Oh, yeah. oh, we all rolled pretty good. Okay. So, um, hmm. Gerald's definitely not going first, but your whole maneuver. But I guess you guys are all waiting for him, huh? Yeah. Are any of you specifically readying an action? I oh. guess I will, uh, get my crossbow ready. Other than okay. that, not really. Okay. Uh, hey, Drew. How yes. about this? 
So Cause he's saying, yeah, no, we. No, I said, I mean, I didn't say that. Oh, okay, so you don't have an AoE attack? No, but other than just punching multiple times in a row, I guess that counts as AoE. <laughs> no, it doesn't count as AoE. So, Mike, are you still doing your water thing? Uh, no. No, that was... No? Okay. Never mind, you I had a question, but I didn't. Unless I'm getting the ability to drown people by putting water in their lungs. <laughs> I'll be reading Mage Hand for uh, number Conehead 1. No, is it Mage Hand oh. or Chill Touch? Um, Mage Hand? There, are, are you sure Gerald doesn't want to get closer? That means get closer. Does it? Uh, it's I a mean, third. It's a thirty-foot cone. For no, it's gold dragon, it's a fifteen-foot cone. <clears throat> Chill touch. My bad. Oh, it's a gold. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, it's actually yeah. Gerald, okay, closer. This close. How close is it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Get rid. Get close to the door. I would say. That's the only way to guarantee find them all. Oh, Drew, I had a quick question. Yes. Are any of them wearing metal armor? Um. Oh, that that is a good question. <laughs> uh, does not seem like it. You don't hear any metal jingling around. Damn, okay. I have my bow okay. in hand. But, yeah, so you guys are... So is anyone readying an action? Um... I'm probably going to ready an action to draw a circle, but I'm trying to figure out which one. Well, yeah, wouldn't it make more sense to draw the circle now? Well, I mean, I guess, yeah. If I stood right next to Gerald, would I be, um, would I get hit? No. Cool. Then I'll do that, and I'll go ahead and draw myself, uh, yeah, an explosion circle. Okay. Um, is yellow calling for that? Sure. Drew, that Warhammer that I've Quick, quick question, Drew. That Warhammer that I picked up, was it magical in any way? Um, no. Okay, just a regular old one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, so you have a burst ready, and yeah, so you guys are just gonna wait for next round then? Okay. Ready for Girl? the, uh... Showtime. Already. Uh, they have to beat a... Also, I want to test this out. Right before he does it, I want to I wanna say, welcome, Challenger. Ooh, wait. I can actually activate this circle on my turn. Well, yes, but do you want to ready the action of activating it for the moment that he reads fire? No, because it's a bonus action. Okay, but... Remember, Gerald's going very late in the initiative. And he's triggering everything. Can I ready a bonus action? Sure. Then yes. Okay. So they all need to make dexterity saving throws, and what do they have to be? They have to be a 13. Okay, then. Lucky oh, he's a index mod. What, what was that? They have a pretty good dex mod. They all have the same dex mod. Oh, they all have the same dex mod. This is a lot easier. This is a lot shit. It's a regular dice. Oh, shoot. And they have to beat a, a 13? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Numbers five and six failed, as did both of the archers. Nice. The rest of these rows seem to have passed. By the way, I, I said welcome challenge. I'm saying welcome challenger as soon as it's said they say that. Nice. Okay, how much damage do they take? They take nine. I want to. I want to see what happens if I say that. Yeah, and just the moment all this happens, they suddenly realize what's ha what the trick, and they're all drawing weapons. And that seemed to have badly burned up the um, archers in the back. They're still holding on, but they, um, you know, they have severe burns. And um, Earth Mover, does that that activate your thing? Yes. So I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from all of them. Okay. Also me? Nope, you're good. Oh, okay. Nice. Or as many of them as would be hit by a 15-foot cone. Um, so there's everyone except for one, too. Looks like. Okay. Okay. That's a DC <laughs> fourteen. Yeah. Um. Number five passed, and yeah, just number five passed. Cool. Oh, I get to get out all my D4s. Yeah. Also, um, what damage type should this do? Because uh, the official description just says damage. Honestly, I, I guess it's any kind... I guess it's whatever elemental type you want, but do you want to keep it the fire theme? Fire makes sense here, I think. Yeah, you guys are just firebombing them. Yeah, he's like, you know, them. number five, he's on fire with his rolls, and everyone else is just on fire. <laughs> There's another D4. Way of the Fire Fist Monk. Cool. So four. That'll be eight fire damage to all of them except for number five, who will only take half that. So four. Okay. And that cost an obscene amount of alchemical stamina to do. Okay. You just incinerated them. Yes! No ranged attacks. Well, hey, yo. Well, not from them. Not from the specialists. Okay, then. Now they're in attack mode. It was a trick. We've been ambushed. That was it's a war crime. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Okay, now number two is going to go. Going to um try to attack Geralt with a um with a short sword. Is his initiative really higher than mine? Yeah. What's your armor class, Geralt? Uh, it's a 12. Okay, then those both hit. <coughs> nice. Okay then. Oh, yeah. Two melee attacks. Yep. Yeah, you know you're reveling in your victory that you don't quite notice this guy swinging your um his sword at you. You take um. You first take nine slashing damage. Jesus. You go down again for. Yikes. Another six. What? Oh. 
But now it's our liver's turn. Um, all right. Hell, I can just set it off again. Oh, nice. Um, in this case, it's only going to be three, six, and five that need to make saves. I I over. Um, is it the same range? Time. No, different range. Oh, okay. It's it's the same thing, but I overclocked the last time to increase the damage and and uh, range. Okay, none of them passed. Cool. Yeah, highest roll was uh, yeah highest save was a six player. Jeez. Um, and this one's going to be twelve total. Oh, sorry, no. Um, I have to re-roll that because I rolled one too many before. My bad. Fix. Fix H. Yeah. Okay. okay, any bonus actions? Um, let me look. Wait, what was activating the circle a bonus action? No, activating the circle only a bonus action because my action does not spend activating a circle. Combat alchemy, third level feature. Wait, so then could you use an action to smack someone with a hammer? And then a bonus action to activate the circle? Um, oh, I can use my action to activate two circles of medium or smaller size. Do you want to let that include the same medium circle twice? Yep. Cool. Then I'll just do it again. Okay, I'll freaking do it again. <laughs> okay, this time, um, <laughs> number five pass. Alright. Rolls on number five again, right? That'll be four, five, six, seven. So, seven to all of them except for number five will take three. Okay, yeah, numbers three and uh, six. They they look like they're um, badly burned. They did not like that. Now it's Stitch's yeah, turn. I'm glad. Finally, I've been waiting. I come out to beat the living essence out of number two. Okay. Yeah, to think long and hard about that word. Yeah, you know what to do. I can't. I went to like seven different words. I'm like, oh nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. That's a one. Drew, your dice are giving me bad luck. We roll those. That's a three. Okay. Well, you have another so attack. That one. It's eight plus seven. That hits. Awesome. D6 plus four. Drew, your dice are horrible. It's a five total. Okay. You still have your bonus action. Yes. Eleven plus seven, eighteen. That hits. Roll damage. That's a one. You can reroll those. Yeah. Oh wait, was that damage? D six. Yes, that was the damage. Oh, in that case, yeah, you add four to that, so five damage. Drew, your dice is horrible. I want to go back to Google. Hey, Do I'm it. not forcing you to use any specific dice set. Oh, okay, fine. I'll go back to Google right now. Okay, now it's Gordon's turn, but I will judge you. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I will also judge you. I'm also <laughs> judging you. Oh, come I on. Am, I am judging you as well. Ah! Um, did I say that I was taking out my sh my bow or my long sword? Or does it matter? Um, do you want to use your long sword? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna slash at five. Okay. Make the attack roll. Uh thirteen. Thirteen total hits. 
Oh, sweet. Oh, let's go. Um, that's um, 12 total damage. Okay, yeah, so this guy, he's just so distracted from being blasted by fire. He doesn't see you lean over and just bring out your sword and you decapitate him. Sweet. Which um, I, I'm assuming you required probably a jump with your height. <laughs> yeah, right. And you still have um, all your movement and another attack. Okay, then I'm gonna move to um, four. Here? And then uh, slash at him. Okay. Oh, that's probably a ten. Did uh, you roll the ten? No, total. A uh, ten total is unfortunately a mess. That okay. sound just glances off his uh, leather armor. As a bonus action, I'm gonna take out my shield. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now you're safe. Take her. Okay, now that's going to bring us. Number one, who's going to try to uh, shoot Gerald with a crossbow. Why me? You're closest. That's going to be a miss, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, he just aims his crossbow at you, but it bounces off your scales. And one is number six, who's going to try to um, savvy stab Gordon. That hits. Yeah, um, as you're just uh, sort of um, pivoting, trying to get your shield, he's able to s- exploit one of your uh, weak spots and just goes in, uh, stabbing you for a total of um, 11 damage. And But then, um, you know, that definitely gets your attention, so you bring your shield back towards him and deflects his hand away as he goes for a second attack. Now number four is going to go. You, that's not fun. That's going to be 10 damage from number 4. Riley, did you hear me? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought he was hitting. I thought he was hitting uh, Gareth. Uh, no, no. no the, this, yeah, the, this, these guys, they're double screwing you. You just took 21 damage in the last round. They, they both and beat a 16? Reminder that you, you, yeah. They both beat a 16? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But only one attack hit each, but yeah. Well, damn! I'm I not too well. Yeah. I'm not doing too well. Number five is dead. Number three. Number three is trying to swing an Earth Mover, but luckily both of their attacks miss. And now it is Gerald's turn. Alrighty. Um. Dang, I was gonna do my AOE attack, but I don't want to attack everyone else that's around <laughs> me. Sorry. Literally, everyone's in range right now. Yeah. Um, Arms of Hada. Unfortunately, I can't. Or, or I can and just attack everyone. Please don't. Yeah. I will die. That'd be kind. Of, that'd be kind of rude. But you do have other spells. Yes, I do. Um, how many Eldritch blasts can I shoot? You get two per round. Two. But you will have disadvantage if you aim it at number two or number three. Oh, okay. Alternatively, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alternatively, you could inflict wounds, or you can use your staff. <laughs> Good old ice staff? No, I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> potentially. There's a lot. I mean, it is. it does have an AoE function, so you could take out a lot of creatures if you hit one of them correctly. What What's the uh, range on the explosion? It's five feet. So I anyone think, okay. immediately next to a creature. Okay. Um, I guess I'll I guess I'll do that. 
Uh, I'll do okay. Ice Knife on uh, number one. Nice. Yeah, so uh, I'm just imagining you just point your staff like a rifle and just make the attack roll. <laughs> Should be a plus seven. Well, that's a 19. The rolls are with me today. 19. Oh, shoot. I just closed my freaking character sheet. Uh, you know what I can't close out? Paper. <laughs> okay. That's 1d10 piercing damage. D10. Right here. Uh, I got the roll. What? The rolls are with you today, huh? What did you get? <laughs> I got one. Okay, yeah, so it just barely glances off of him, and he is able to dodge the explosion, but the other two do take it, so go ahead and roll 2d6 cold damage. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, that just rolled out of the. That's a three. That's a six, nine. Nine damage, nice. Yeah, so these um, ice shards, they just explode everywhere. And one of them catches uh, number three right in the jugular and he bleeds down and falls to the ground. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, because um, he had turned his head to follow this bolt of ice and that ended up just being his critical mistake. Do you have any bonus actions? I do not. Okay, then you're just over Andreas, back to you. Yep. Yep. We're gonna go this way. I always forget that I have a freaking reaction. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the hammer. Okay. Um, step forward. And uh, bash six. I am never going to remember the mods for this weapon. Uh, magic items. Plus one. Okay. Wait, there's no way I didn't add it. Yeah, I did add it. I'm smart. That's a 21 to hit. That hits. Oh. So I think we decided that's a D8 instead of a D6. Right. Um, yeah, I need to update this card anyway. on the table. Okay. Um, that will be uh, plus three. Uh, eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah, so you bring that. Yeah, so you just step over all mightily, bring down Bone Crusher, and his bones do indeed crush. You, um, yeah, you, you uh, feel his head come pressed down into his neck, all the bones snapping, and he slumps to the ground. No, oh, like when I stood on that one goblin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but not quite as dramatic. He didn't accordion his entire spinal system. Okay. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'll step, uh, I guess, northwest one to, to swag it number one. Uh, and that's an 11 to hit. An 11 total? Yeah. Yeah, that just misses. Okay. Yeah, at this time, yeah, he sees you, you coming and just steps out of the way, not wanting that to happen to him. Any bonus actions? No. Okay, then. It is now Fitch's turn. What does Mr. Urso want to do? I said my little bit. 
Do you I start punch. punching? Yes. Okay. That's a four. Oh. Drew, your dice are killing me. Four, four plus. Four plus seven. That's a miss. Yeah, I know. Bro, go Second back and punch. Google. Seven plus seven. That hits. 14. Thank you. Five plus four. Okay, yeah, with a uh, nine, um, you, you yeah, this guy he was already chasing around. You just gave him one final good punch, and his yeah, he started to fall over. His head hits against the uh, stone wall on the way down, and then slams against the ground. And you seem reasonably confident that he's dead. Can I uh, step over him, good number one, to do my last hit? Okay. Ten. A 10 total? Uh, ten, seven, 17 total. Oh, yeah, then that hits. Five damage. Okay. Uh, against number one. Yeah, you know, number one has been pretty cocky because he's been doing really well all combat, and now the um, gnome or whatever just uppercutted him with a jump. He's not dead or anything, but. Did you, know, you just call me a gnome? I <laughs> called you. Okay, any bonus actions? That was the bonus action. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Then in that case, it's Gordon's turn. Okay. Um, as a bonus action, I'm going to Misty Step as far away to the right from number four as possible. Okay, what's the range on Misty Step? 30 feet. Okay. Six. Nice. Yeah, you just don't yeah. go out of there. I'm going to assume you're taking out your longbow. Yep. Or can you t- can you use two bonus action? Or can you use a bonus action as your action? Um, tell like, you what, I'll say that if you drop your sword and your shield while you're warping away, then you can pull out your longbow. But don't worry, the, uh, it's unlikely that anyone's going to incinerate them while you're gone. What I was saying was like, could I use second wind to like roll hit points as an action, even though it's technically a bonus action? Um, I would allow it, but are you sure it's what you want to do? No, I'm, I mean. No, I'll just. I was just gonna roll for attack. I was. I was just asking, like, can you use a bonus action as an action? Um, officially no, but I would allow that. Okay. So, but but to, for my attack, I'm gonna drop my shield and then pull out the bow and try and shoot him. Okay. Nat twenty, baby. Let's go. That hits. 2d8 plus 4. Hold on, I have to get out the other d8. Wow, this is fun. I've never had to do that before. 6, 5, 4, so that's 15 damage. 15 damage against number 4. Yep. 15 to clarify yeah one five in that case yeah you know you yeah so yeah you drop your weapons for a moment he thinks you're um uh, giving up just uh trying to ask for mercy but then suddenly you've disappeared you're 30 feet back pulling out your weapon and before he even has time to react he has an arrow in his chest and he's dead sweet now, do I still have another a- uh, another attack? Yes, you do, because you have um. Okay, I'm attack. looking at number. W- I'm gonna try and uh, hit number one with my arrow. All right, with with the bow. That's in range. Can I go over? Do I have to go over Geertolt? Um. Yeah, you will be shooting past all your allies, so there's a chance, very small, that you might hit that. Sh- or okay. Or Earth Mover. Let's or just hope I don't. Terrible. Um. Thirteen. A thirteen hits. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, five damage. Total. Nice. So yeah, this time you just shoot him. Yeah, you shoot this guy in the leg, and he's he's not having a good day. Oh, this is not good me. Okay then. Um, after Gordon, it is. 
his turn, so he's gonna try to um, swing the sword at um, Earthmover. That's a miss. And his second attack is also a miss. Yeah, so he just uh, swings, one attack goes wide, and the other one just glances off of your elven chain. Mm-hmm. And now it's Gerald's turn. Uh, okay. Geralt is... I guess to go with the theme of fire, I'm going to just do a good old fireball, classic fireball. Nice, make the attack Let's say I have my charisma, right? Yes, and you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a 10 plus 7. A 17 hits, roll damage, that should be 2d10. Yep. So five. A three. Eight damage. Yeah, so um Yeah, so first it's the yeah, first it's the arrow to the leg, and then it's a firebolt to the other leg. This guy's, like, starting to, like, get first, all haunted. <laughs> for a second, I thought you were about to say an arrow to the knee. Nope, nope, that's, that's copyrighted. Now it's Earth Mover's turn. This guy, he's, like, he seems mostly dead. Uh, let's do a bit more whacking, shall we? Yep. Uh... That'll be a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. Seven. Plus. That's seven bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah, you bring down your hammer. Get this guy right in the rib cage. He's now all wobbling back and forth, and you realize that one more hit will kill him. But you have... But, yeah, you get two attacks with your thing, so... That was a nat one. Can you re-roll those? Uh, no. <laughs> I am neither a halfling nor a core. I cannot re-roll net ones. Huh. Yeah, you know, this guy, it, the wobbling, it actually works to his advantage for a moment, because he suddenly leans back from where you thought he was going to be, and your swing goes wide and directly over Thitch's head. Nice. Roll damage? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm hearing... To the air? <laughs> I'm hearing six, head. I'm hearing six damage to Thitch. Okay, uh, Chris, the air spirit that was floating over your head just took six damage. The air no, spirit? <laughs> no! No. It's a bush. But do you have any bonus actions? Wait, are you sure it was over my head? Because I did send it down the hallway at the beginning of the fight. Um, wait, let me see if I actually have any. I'm not gonna go back and touch the thing, because that would hurt many people and cost way too much stamina anyway. Okay. Plus, uh, I'd rather I'd rather get hit, by the way. Because what did you roll on that, Earthmover? Okay. 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 It's okay. This guy's about to oh. die. Whoever hits him next will have the um, finishing low and Stitch's turn. Wait, hang on. Let me... Spells? I don't think any of my oh, spells are I mean, a bonus action or can deal damage, but yeah, no, I'm good. Or Thitch, do you want to um, uh, do you want to heal him? I look at him. Uh can I throw him? That won't do any damage him. to him. Yeah, do you no. just want to grapple him? Yeah, I want to grapple him. Throw him down the hallway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to just grapple him and throw him down the hallway as hard as I can. Uh. Go ahead and, and just uh, yeah. So, are, are you starting to line him up for Gordon? Gordon, do you want to catch this guy? <laughs> yes. I can. I, can okay, I just go ahead and make three acrobatics checks, Chris. Awesome. Can I can I give him like inspiration? 
I got a nat one, a seventeen, a thirteen. Okay. Oh, uh, let me get. Let me get. Uh, I re-roll the one, right? Yeah. In an eleven. Uh, those are all naturals. I can plus seven to all of those. Yeah. Okay. So you just send this guy spinning and stumbling halfway across the hall, and Gordon, you see the perfect shot has opened up. Can I throw one of my battle axes instead? <laughs> the, the longest kill. This is the longest Go kill. For it. He's gonna wobble so long okay. he has to with take a short advantage. Rest. With with advantage? Yes. Actually, okay. Instead, can I try shooting with a bolt of uh, lightning? Which bolt? Are you sure? It's I mean, this the... guy's like on death's doorstep. One hit will kill him. I know, but I think it's it. really cool. Okay, go for it. I mean, sure Plus, I'm gonna go. need a long rest here pretty soon. Okay, I'm gonna use Witch Bolt on it. At uh, 21. Okay. Um, to hit. Yeah. This is the most. This is the best. This guy is spinning out, and you suddenly bring down. Yeah, and and you're and holding your bow rather than launch an arrow. You instead shoot forth a volley of lightning, hitting straight into him. And he gets electrocuted, and he's still spinning for a moment before he falls down. Um, and this is where my system wants to freeze. Are we still? Okay, good. Still... <sighs> he is dead, and a pipe appears. Throw the body down the pipe! Um, I will... I have three health. Does anybody have anything that can help me? Yeah. Do you guys want to go ahead and loot this place? Yes, we do. Yeah. Can I grab every single one of those knives? Okay. And the lockpicking tool. No, uh, so I'm going to take the lockpicking tool. Sweep of the, um... Of this floor. Yeah, general sweep. Uh, can you tell us okay, what we so get? We're just going to search the whole thing. Yes. Between these uh, six people, you actually are able to put enough together to get two sets of thieves tools. Okay. Who wants those? Geralt wants one. I want the other. Okay. From the archers, you are able to collect, since they didn't fire a single shot, they each have all 16 arrows, so that's 32 total. I want uh, arrows. Okay. arrows. Uh, Riley I'll needs some. Yeah. Needs okay. Them, Both of their bows are intact, but the strings are broken. What about the crossbows? Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but first, oh, okay, the archers, okay. there are two intact longbows with broken strings. We can sell those. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm telling you this so that you can make a note of it. Oh, mistaken. oh. That's why you're saying the whole yes. Two thieves. You gotta track your own loot. Two thieves, two Oh. Loot. Drew, so I remember, I think it was two or three or four weeks ago, I can't remember. How many arrows did you say I started off with? Probably like 20. 20? Okay, I'm gonna go and pick up my arrows that are in this dude's body. Okay. And, uh, and then I'm gonna take those 16. So. Okay. 36. So, two teeth tools. Uh, how many arrows? Um, 16. Bolts, I mean. 16 okay, bolts. Okay, well we'll, well, we'll get to those guys in a minute. And also on these um, archers, there are, they each have a short sword. Are there are they magical in any way? Does anybody have to take magic? Nope. You do. No, I don't, not anymore. You had it last session. Yeah, I know, but that was level seven me. Okay. That I went through and I had to redo it because I know I redid it and I I remember you went I through didn't puberty? have Huh? You went through puberty? Yeah, again. 
He said, I don't need to Again. protect things anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the bows seem to be of uh, good quality, but non-magical. All right, I'm not taking them. I already have a short sword. I mean, oh, I don't I'll, have a short sword. I'll take a short sword. Wait, short sword is a monk weapon or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know what? I don't have a short sword. Well, there's going to be enough swords to go around. Okay. Because, okay, every single person you just killed had a short sword on them. Mm-hmm. There's That's not enough. eight total short swords. There's not enough. Not enough. I take six. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You're strong enough for that. And as a reminder, you guys know <laughs> that on the fifth floors are, are markets areas. They're not battlefields, so you can immediately sell all this loot. Oh, yeah, we could all just throw it down the pipe. Yeah, we're, that's what I was going to say. And just... each of these creatures, and each of the um, creatures in black, they each were holding a hand crossbow. Is their crossbow better than my crossbow? It's a hand crossbow. A hand crossbow. What kind do you currently have? The one that you need two hands? Yeah. yeah. A regular crossbow? Okay. But it is valuable if you want to resell it. Yes. Yeah, it's a martial ranged weapon. Okay, okay, so let's cover this. Two thieves tools, 16 bolts, two long bows with broken strings, eight short swords. Correct? Yes. And so I'm going to divide. Take. I, I tell everyone, hey, take what you want. We're going to sell everything after. Also, we're also going to sell these bodies. What? <laughs> Don't question it. Okay, sure. Okay. Anything else? Anywhere else you want to check? Uh, I look around the corner. It was what was that? Is that just a wall? Yes, it's just, just a wall. section. Anywhere else and, you guys are checking? Uh, I tried looking at the doors with the lick. Uh, the the, the whole door is all going to be made out of wood. Okay. Is there anything engraved anywhere? Uh, yeah. Um, Magic. Well, where are you looking? On the doors? On the doors and then anywhere on the floors. Especially around the pipes because I'm curious now. How in the world do they appear? Oh, are you looking down the hole in the cell that I mentioned? Yes, that too. Yeah. That seems to be a hole with water. It's it's seems to be some kind of bathroom. Not used, I'm assuming. Nope. The one you're looking at was used. Okay. I guess and are that... you going around checking all the cells then? Yeah, go or see if there's anything else. Any engravings. Okay. Any... Well, actually, as you're searching around, you do find two um, healing potions. Two healing potions? Yes. Nice. What type of healing potions? What grades of healing potions? Yeah, what grade? Yeah, they're labeled in common as um, just the normal healing potions. So better than my lesser healing. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Yep, you guys are throwing everything down there? 
everything because we want to get selling everything. Okay. What do you mean, okay? That sounds like a very bad okay. No, it just means it's t- gonna take me longer to set this up. Well, just, you don't have to, just take note of to what's everything down there because we're just gonna sell everything. Oh no, you guys are committing to this bit, and so am I. Okay, okay, true, fine. Hey, and I'm glad for it. I'm glad that you guys are looting. Okay. Almost there. And I presume you guys are all diving in the pipe. No, uh, Garrett's gonna stay up here and just roam the. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's the I new. He's the new. Uh... Garrett's holding the map. Uh, I'm the new uh, keeper of the of this level. Okay. If you pick the floor clean and you're diving to the next floor. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, I assume and so. Don't worry, we're almost done here for tonight, I think. Yeah. Yes, you guys all dive in for him. And you know it's another shop area, so once again the pipe's already here. Thank goodness. But unlike last time, there's just one pipe. Okay. And Quinn greets you and she says, Ah, you've come a long way. But it seems like you're almost at what you came for. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Which was? I forgot already. The gem. No, it's a map to a gem. It's a map to the oh, gem. Oh, yeah, we don't even get a gem at the end of this. We almost died for a map? Yes, according to our records, Multiple. you're searching for a planar gem. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you shall soon have it. Oh, okay. by the way, uh, can we sell all these stuff, please? Oh, of course. So I bring each body up to the counter. Okay. So, uh, this body, it doesn't have that much damage, just a uh, very concussive... Cons- Chris, we are not going through all dozen bodies down here. Oh. <laughs> and, and she yeah, actually stops you and says, it. okay, I'll give you a deal. One gold for each regular body, and a half gold for the zombified bodies. Make it four gold for each body. Because we gotta, I've gotta split it, I've gotta... I've gotta, I've gotta you just quadrupled the... <laughs> No, because I gotta hey. give gold to these guys as well. Hello? Yes, but how valuable do you think these bodies really are? Well, they're bodies from a temple, which was... Also, came, coming that's from the just for floor. the bodies themselves. We will be doing separately for all the loot that you're gonna sell me that's actually of value. What if we sell all the bodies and we start an account? Because how I'm curious, I ask uh, Geralt, how much did you put into your account again? Okay, 11 gold for all the bodies. Final offer. Uh, that's not important. I wish to know. Come on. Uh, you actually don't know anything about it, so uh, I thought you said talked about nope. it. No, Ralph told him. Oh, he did. Well, uh, mm-hmm. That's not important. I don't want to speak about my personal finances. I'm just curious. Okay. So, uh, what's the minimum to have at a savings account or something like that? Unfortunately, oh, wait, are you referring to situ wheel in accounts? Yes. 
Unfortunately, we don't deal with those. We're not affiliated with the Sigil Wheel Inn. Hmm. Do you have and an what account? Of, and what loot of actual value do you have to offer? I have swords. Okay. I need to know, are you guys holding back? Do, do you, do you, are you guys keeping any of the weapons that you took last time, or are you selling them I'm all? keeping one short sword, because I apparently... Okay. Hold on, let me double-check my stuff if I have a short sword. Can I wield a, uh, a Warhammer and a shield? I don't believe so, but you can switch between them, or... Just have one or the other. If you want. Oh, scratch that. I do have a short sword. And I can't dual wield can I... them, can I? No. I assume so. Alright. I sell... <laughs> I sell eight short swords. I'll and keep my Warhammer. I'm selling the long bows unless you want them, kid. No. Nah. I'll stick with the Warhammer. I think that's And cool. the bolts, you have oh, your okay. amount of bolts, correct? Wait, yeah. so you're selling one Warhammer but keeping the other? Oh, I had two of them? Oh, no, wait. Easy Go Go had the other one. Yeah. So no Warhammers. Okay. Can I take a long uh, rest here? You can take a short rest. So I'll be doing a short rest as well. Okay, but first let's deal with how much money you guys are making. Okay, so that total comes to six hand crossbows, eight short swords, and two damaged longbows. Does that sound correct? Do that one more time. And six all the bodies swords, and statues. Eight short swords. Two damaged longbows. Plus yes. the bodies. Yes. Sounds like 50 gold to me. 50 gold? Very well, then. We can do that. And, uh... uh, uh oh, wait, I forgot to... The... For my body... Right now? Hold on, let me do a calculation. How much yes. did you say your offer was again? For the bodies? Okay, with all the weapons and bodies, we can give you 300 gold pieces. <laughs> Chris! Chris don't, don't even speak. Don't even speak anymore. <laughs> Shush. That, that sounds good. I get half the gold. No, you don't. Okay, so shall we split that evenly among the four of you? Oh, 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 wait, I'm... Actually, uh, I'll I'll figure that out later. Uh, yes, evenly among the four. Okay. And um, yeah, she starts writing something in a book, and then um, she starts taking yeah. And after a moment, you hear some um, sounds of gold, uh, bags of gold being filled, and in a moment, she has produced four evenly sized bags, each of which um, has the word seventy five GP stenciled on it. That doesn't seem right. Is it, is it 300 divided by 4? Um, yep. Chris, yes. Chris. I'm not what, thinking right now. I'm tired. It, and would you like to, Okay. And so, yes. Presumably, you guys are about to face the challenge that will give you the gem. But I should warn you, it'll be far more dangerous than anything you've faced yet. And then, ooh. You'll have to go through another few floors until you can get to Sigil Wheel Inn. Because the only official way to leave this tower is through a sigil wheel. Oh my. Wait, so there's floors beneath the final floor? Oh, it's not the final, final floor, but it might be, but it's the floor that contains your treasure. Unless you have another way out of this tower. So this is and a never ending spell. tower? Exactly, now you're getting it. So this is your guys' chance to um, gear up, get anything, any potions you need, take your short rest before the boss battle. I take a short rest. I'll, I will take a short. Okay, uh, how many potions do you healing potions do you have? Yes, I'll have. Uh... Or does the shopkeeper have? I have three potions of lesser healing. 
two potions of healing. And a potion of sobriety. Oh, scrap that. Wait. What's the difference between a lesser potion and a small potion? I'm not completely sure. Yes, you should also have a potion of key. Uh huh. Yes, would you like to buy any potions before you go? Or scrolls? I would. But, oh, yeah. How many, uh, do you have a large potion? Healing, potion, healing, potion. Uh, a large healing spell? Yes, yes. Just let me get to the right page of my ledger. Oh, you're good. Yes, a greater potion or a superior potion? How much is a superior motion, uh, potion? Very expensive. Let's see now. A superior potion is 250 gold. Whereas a greater potion, no, yes. What? Whereas a greater potion is fifty gold. What do I have? I have like, I have. What can I get with uh, ten gold? Well, do you need equipment of the mundane variety? I need um, something that will make me feel better. Our cheapest potion, not... our cheapest healing potion, is twenty-five gold. How about this? I'll take you to the back room and do some stuff to you if you give it to me for free. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, hey yo, yo! <laughs> I will make you an amazing meal. Oh, that's that sounds disgusting. like a good time. You guys are disgusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how Where about this? Yeah, okay, how about this? If I make you the best meal you've ever had in your entire life, you give me one of those large pots for free. How about that? Um, I don't eat food. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to go take a short rest and use a bunch of hit points. Or use a bunch of hit dice. We also sell spell scrolls here. Uh, for 10 gold? Geralt, no. uh, Geralt perks up and uh, says, uh, what spells? Hmm. Let's see now. Well, it depends on what it is you're looking for. If we were to rank spells, at, let's say on a scale of 0 to 9, I would say that we could sell you up to a third level. Oh, a third level. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh... Do you, do you have any uh, sorcerer spells or warlock spells? Yes. Um. Well, what are you looking for? Hmm. Uh. Um. I'm shoot. There's a wiki dot. That would be down. Yep. Gosh dang it. I miss Wiki Dog. It's so nice. General. It's got a bunch of filters on there that you don't need, but that's okay. what I use for spells. Alrighty. Here are the sorts of spells. Um Jesus, that's a lot of spells. Jesus, you can filter spell level. Do you have a uh, a spell called Thunder Wave? Oh yes, yes we do. That's like a brain drinking spell. Let's see you now. That's level one, right? Yeah, yes, it's for so. So that's that scroll will run you a mere thirty gold pieces. Hmm. Really. Yes. You were saying earlier that, uh, like, DM, you were saying earlier that 
if I had put water under them and then also done like a lightning or uh, freaking the child was going to do witch bolt and you said it wasn't a lightning attack? Well, thunder wave does thunder damage, not lightning damage. I do have so I it? do have a I have a cantrip that sound. does um lightning yes, damage. Thunder sound damage. Oh, okay. I have shocking grasp, which is lightning damage. Yeah. It's essentially a Chidori, if you think about it. So like he has a ball of lightning in his hand, he slaps him. Um do you have the spell Water Walk at the third level? Yes. That will run That's you 90 gold pieces. 90 gold. I look over to mm-hmm. I look over to Gareth Holt and I like give him my money because I'm like, I'm never gonna use this. You can have it. What uh I deny him. I deny you. Give you me that okay. money. It's like all right, okay. I was like, I can't use it. So, okay. So, uh, it, is there any spells you don't have? Okay, okay tell you what, know. I've got a better idea. Michael, over the next week, come up with a list of spells you want to buy. So that way we can Alrighty. wrap up the session soon, and you guys can also heal yourself. Because I want to end this session by setting up for. Michael, if I end this session by setting up for next time, will you promise not to metagame by specifically getting spells that would be really good in whatever environment you land on? Can you promise me that? <laughs> yes, yes, I swear. Okay, no, you good. can. I, I, oh, I will I'm... message you before next week on what spells I want. Yeah, and tell you what, right now, just let me know what kind of theme of spells are you looking for? Uh, I'm not really... I, I still look through them. Because honestly, I haven't looked at the spell list in a while, but... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just need... So, yes. So, yeah, you guys will uh, go ahead and take your short rest and over the next week and message me if you want to buy any items. Just try not to metagame, because I wanted to end on a cool note of us, of you guys landing in the boss chamber. Does okay. that sound good? Um, quick question. How much... Yeah. For a hit, hit dice, do you add anything, or is it just a natural... Constitution. Die? That's zero. Okay. And that's for each uh, time you roll it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, wait. Are you guys... uh, how many hit dice do I have again? Oh. Um, should have eight. Half your total. So four. What was that? Wait. Actually, no. You might not have expended as many because you didn't take as many short rests as everyone else. Yeah, I haven't taken any short rests. Nice. In that case, you still have your full eight. Eight. Okay. But yeah, and then, go ahead and message me any more questions. And in character, do you guys want to jump through the pipe and then just deal with anything else over the course of the next week? Okay. Yeah, sure. And yeah, you guys are all telling me you're not going to metagame by specifically buying items <laughs> that would fit whatever environment you're about to land on. I can trust the four of you. Yes, of course. Well, what what if I had already thought of the spell and then ends up being something that is quite beneficial in this next no uh, i'm not gonna make a game i'm not gonna okay it's, game. it's it's the honor system okay okay yes. mostly because it's almost midnight and i really want to wrap up this session okay all right okay you're jumping through the pipe yep i've got i think Grace. i have enough yeah Holy okay shit, i got lucky. you guys drop through the pipe and you land in a cool desert and you feel the dry wind around you. In front of you are several strange creatures. They look like large lizards, but they have feathers on them. And they're on two legs with, um, you know, these um, little arms reaching out. They seem to be looking towards you, and they have very long uh, tails. There are four of these that are very short, and then two behind them that are larger. But the thing that truly catches your attention is in the center of them. It's a large, shiny creature. It's, you know, off-brown, but it's immediately recognizable as a mighty metallic dragon. That's what we're going to call this session. Okay. Until next time, I've been your host and Dungeon Master, Drew, and I'm being joined by... Earthmover. And...
Fitch. And Geralt. And Gordon Clay. Until next time, bye.